Whoop. Oh my gosh, look at the time. Welcome back, it's been a week. Can't believe it's been a week. And we're right here back at the review desk. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for joining us for our last episode because we got quite a few views and it was nice to uh, have it here for you guys, the comments that you guys gave us. Uh, as we said earlier, we're gonna try and make this a regular feature where we display some of the cars that we get from around the world. We've got 164, 143, 154 and 118 scale cars today and it is an exciting lineup uh, of stuff to show you guys. So I'm going to kick things off with, uh, you know, something that moved in from our teaser. If you notice, this is this beautiful Porsche uh, Rendis from Shuko. This is the 143 version which we have featured in our magazine in one of the earlier issues. Now comes in 164 scale. Volkswagen T1 Lowrider uh, from Shuko, absolutely gorgeous simply because Shuko does very collectible style models why do I say that they've got the details like spot on as you can see perfect paint job perfect uh, alignment of body molding is perfect plastic lights in the front uh, not plastic lights in the back but well painted lights at the back which includes the silver beading around the light 164 scale model collectors this is what i would call a collector's item putting it on like the scale of tomica tlvns definitely uh, something that you should get your hands on if you are a massive volkswagen fan don't forget shuko this is not the first uh, 164 uh, t1 lowrider of shuko they have quite a few and they've also done quite a few collaborations with tarmac works as well in the volkswagen t1 lowrider segment but if you got this, you can also get this and they have a 118 version as well. Moving on, talking about uh, these guys collaborators, we've also got Tarmac Works, the Honda Integra, Super Tie Q series. I love those Japanese words, I just hope I don't butcher them. But yep, if you are a massive fan of Honda Civics and a massive fan of uh, GT Racing and GT3 Racing, these are the sort of cars that you should be collecting from Tarmac Works. They've got massive, extensive lineup of these. And I really do like the color combination. If I, if I, even if I don't know the racing team and I don't know the racing um, series that this has taken part in per se, but then that's what gives you the wonderful part about uh, this hobby. You know, you can learn about new stuff. There's always something new to uh, look into. It's like you go into your collection, you pull out one of these cars randomly and think, okay, today I'm going to do a bit of research on this. And um, it's great to add in some knowledge. Of course, you get your usual card, which gives you your numbers, so obviously a limited edition. And the Tarmac Works, they do a fantastic job of these cars. This is right now up for grabs on their web store and at your dealers. So if you want to get yourself one of these gorgeous, turquoise cars it's there and available now we have been checking out uh, Junimai's uh, success in the 164 world this is the new one that has come out it is the Datsun wagon gosh these things are just like men are raining from heaven they are really really cool they're you know apart uh, you know this it's not the usual 164 cars that you get they've got their own special little niche about them I uh, forgot that they got this plastic stuck on them and I forgot to bring my knife. Ah, no, I do have my knife. My Swiss Army knife. That wasn't a, a shameless plug actually. I, I really did forget that this was on the table. Right, so there we go. Let's unleash the Kaido. Slowly. Because it's, it's a slip on case. And wow, ah, I really like the Japanese lettering on the top there. Uh, already getting really excited about this. Come on, come on, tease it out, you shy little thing. Uh, we're getting it, we're getting it. 
Uh, okay, uh, 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 the owner of this is getting a little freaked out at the moment, but this is in safe and professional hands. Uh, and also it's the reason why it comes in four layers. But wow, guys and girls, collectors around the world, children, look at that. Do we have an opening engine? Uh, yes, we do have an opening engine. Ooh. It's, it's so beautiful and trembling. There is a chase model of this as well, as always, if you can get your hands on it. But personally, I think this is one of those instances where the normal version really, you know, stops your heart. Everything details are perfect. I really love the yellow roll cage bars in there. Um, the nice clear, graphics on the clear plastic windows it's been a week of photographing real massive group wheel arches so this is also quite nice to see uh, wow look at that it's one of those moments where if you have nothing to say you just don't say anything you just I want to be Junimai's friend Julimai, if you see this, uh, can we be friends? I'd be one of those cool friends that look at your work and praise you all the time and, you know, tell you how wonderful you are. Uh, but yeah, just need to like feature all of these and sign in for me and look at that. It's just, I don't want to put it back in the box, but also, unless you have like a really special place to put this, um, I don't want to keep it out either. So let's slot that back in the box there, slip that on carefully. And slip that back in there, and oh. there we go. Designed by Juni Mai, made by Mini GT, absolutely fantastic and gorgeous. Speechless after that. Right, moving back in. A great way to follow that up is with another Mini GT uh, issue on the Liberty Vox Nissan uh, GTR 35. I'm sure you've got stacks of this. Uh, this one comes in a crazy LBW red, so fiery. I want to eat a chili pepper right now. Also a nice Nice little get up there, the silhouette version. Mini GT does some really nice models. They do some fantastic castings. Um, as you can see, they're quite solid also, in the sense that you know someone like me can easily toss this around in his hands. Um, and you know, to have the fun rolls really well. So, you know, a lot of a lot of the problems that Mini GT is having, teething problems, they have started to iron out and they are, their stuff is becoming perfect and perfect day by day. So guys, looking to start your mini GT collection. Do yourself one of these. Because it looks really nice. Highly recommended. We do love mini GT. The reason why I don't work in packaging. We're in the packaging department or anything. Why won't this go in? Ah there we go. We have six. Moving on, so that we don't waste any more time, let's do some 143s. Uh, Shuko's got them resin bits and pieces that we really like, and uh, this is a definite classic, a banger for those who grew up in the 80s. Um, Mercedes Benz 300 AMG, look oof, at that color, limited to 500. Uh, it is in an acrylic case. Uh, do we open it up? Yes, let us desecrate this display unit and open it up. There we go. Oh, swanky, swanky details, photo etched parts. Love the details on the lights, if you see that. They've really gone to town with these. Slightly deeper wheels at the back than in the front. You know, these are the sort of little details that, uh, you know, a lot of, you know, not concentrating on details brands kind of miss out. Really nice to have this. Beautiful pearl white. That is a really beautiful 143 piece. 
Mercedes fans are going to go absolutely bonkers to get their hands on this one. Um, you know, these are the sort of things if you're a retailer, for example, this would be great for, you know, dropping in at AMG show, uh, sorry, AMG shows with uh, Mercedes and probably getting a stall somewhere and hocking these off because these will sell like hotcakes. Definitely um, something to get your hands on. I'm going to put that aside again with all the 164s, clear up some space here. To make way for this, very, very nice. If you are uh, if you are into uh, vintage scooters, Volkswagen once again, really really love this. This is not a resin version. This is a metal model from Shuko 143 scale. It's from their scooters and parts. And uh, let's pop that open. Again, another nice thing about uh, Shuko's 143 scale models is their display cases have these nice little clips here unlike uh, some models where the display case is not clipped in and when you lift the display case up it all falls apart but now we're going to take that out and have a look at that first not plastic rubber wheels wheels don't turn but they do roll so that's really cute uh, i have a strong feeling that the stand maybe oh yes yes the stand is extendable explosions are happening in my mind and my mind is officially blown um, also uh, this is very beautiful however there's one thing that you've got to know about Shuko these side mirrors are impossibly uh, flimsy and if you were to break one off, which I have done many times with many of my Shuko models, it's impossible to get them back on unless you have uh, Ant-Man as your friend. So be very careful. Our advice is once you've had a look at this and taken photographs of it in as much as possible, put this back in the acrylic case and keep it safe because it is a limited version, uh, limited edition, 750 of these made. Uh, and it is very, very cute, especially I would get this simply for getting this little beautiful Vespa model. I want to now open a box of Monopoly and have this as my uh, token. That's so cool. Ah, Shuko does some fantastically beautiful stuff. Let's get this right. No, oh, that doesn't look right. That doesn't look right. Ah, yeah, that looks right. See? Good on Shuko. Now let's slide that down with Ethan Hunt precision. Right, there we go. Mission impossible. I managed to do that without breaking a single piece. Uh, we have to get to the box. Right on, moving on. Let's get, let's get heavy. Um, with some bigger scales. And when I say heavy, this is actually super heavy it is i think it weighs about a kilo and i'm quite uh, i mean shocked at that but you know it is a muscle car and let's get this baby out it is a chevelle don't see many of these this is the big time muscle range from jada toys simple clean absolute this is a vision of nice because you know it doesn't have any overbearing parts and all it not that i'm saying it's bad to have you know superchargers that stick out the engine bonnet and stuff like that but once in a while it's nice to just have a very clean looking car on hand and this is what i would put in i wouldn't say stunning but if you're looking for something nice clean and um, beefy yeah this is like this is like you know beef minstrel soup it's good for you it looks plain but it's also very hard Love these thick back wheel drag tires. If you are a customizer, you can really go to town with this uh, sort of thing. Opening parts, even at the back. Very clean looking Chevelle. Nice stuff. Definitely one to put into the 124 scale from the big time muscles. We will definitely be putting up one of the, uh, all these cars and uh, everything that we are reviewing right here in the, on the review desk in our blogs, vlogs, 
and uh, magazine articles. This is just a basic look at what we've got on hand. So keep your eye out for this uh, and all the other stuff that we've been showing today as well as last week. If you didn't catch our last week's episode, uh, you should check it out on our website which is www.castedmagazine.com. Now bouncing its way into our lives is this wonderful... I just love what the guys at uh, Maisto and uh, Burago are doing with their vehicles. They have so many crazy ideas. Love this low rider scheme. Uh, this is not the first and certainly not the last of what they've got in their uh, arsenal of low rider cars. Eddie Castro is one of the guys behind this series and he is certainly, I know him personally and I know the fact that he's definitely got this culture packed down. He knows exactly what he's doing and that's why these look absolutely stunning. What? You know, you should just get this simply for that paint. That paint, it looks like Spectre Frost. Um, let's see if we can get this off. There we go. So, it's stickered on, so we've got our opening bonnet, opening uh, doors, opening rear. But yeah, just look at that. I don't think this is one of those cars you want to open up. It needs to look like this park seductively with the wheels turn. Does it have turning wheels? Sadly, it doesn't have turning wheels. So, bad news on that front. Other than that though, if you are a massive uh, Grand Theft Auto fan, this is definitely going to be one of those uh, types of cars you want to get in your collection for sure. So yeah, the wheels don't turn but they do roll. So you can roll them down your desk anytime with a nice sweet curry dog uh, or Dr. J. Yeah, we definitely recommend some Def Jam listening uh, while you play with this model. And all the other models that they have in this series you should definitely get because it's one of those collector series model where it looks good with a whole bunch of other lower riders loving it can't wait to do a shoot on this um, I think we're gonna go with some New York City skylines maybe fly over there since we like to do our shoots uh, at exotic locations review desk is just we haven't been able to afford any paint tickets to cover cost right so that is it for the 124 scale car now let's move into the 118 scale cars and as you guys know Solido is celebrating its 90 years and um, they have been giving out a huge bunch of cool cars. Uh, what am I saying? Not giving out, they've been sending out a huge bunch of cool cars. In fact, this year has been absolutely mental with the cars that uh, Solido has been doing. One of the cars that has really been running us mad at the office and they can't wait to get out is the Volkswagen Golf. Check this out guys. 180 scale, wire wheels, BBS. For the classic 90s and 1980s baby with that beautiful sports red trim line around the front. This is, we put it on our epic scale meter along with the other Solido RWBs that come out. Like I said, our uh, Solido celebrating their 90 years has been going on such a massive trip with some great cars. This is one of them. Uh, and they are not going to be giving uh, giving up uh, or dropping it down anytime soon. There you go. BBS stickers for your BBS trim cars. And it goes there on the lower, uh, lower skirting of your door. And this guarantees to make your car move 5% five, uh, 5 faster on the table when you roll it. So be careful when you roll it after putting these stickers on. You may lose control of the car. But then again, the Golf is known for its wonderful stability and cornering. There you go. Wheels that turn and roll. No one can make a fuss. I just love these BB, uh, BBS wire wheels. I hope you guys can see that. Are you looking straight through my hole on the box at the rear? I hope you guys can see great stuff. Going to be taking pictures of this very soon, so expect this to be coming out in our magazine because we have to do this justice. The next one 
uh, that we're going to bring out today is part is is is, is part of a two-part series, and it is that's right the Mark IV Toyota Supra. This one is the Targa top. See Targa top. You can see perfect for getting dust in irritating places, driving absolutely nuts. So one of, it's one of those models that has a removable top but will spend most of its life with the top on since uh, most of us don't want to get irritated dust in those corners and bits forever. But yes, finally, uh, 118 scale Toyota Supra Mark IV that uh, simple people like myself can finally afford. And I am very excited about this. We've got the red one as well. Uh, 118 scale Supra. I am a massive Supra fan. Uh, I've always been a massive Supra fan. I'm never going to own one considering the current prices of these. However, owning one of these from Salido since their 90 years is up and they are going to be crossing a century soon. Can you imagine the century of making toys? These guys are definitely uh, getting on the right track with the models they're choosing. This is absolutely stunning. I want more Supras, guys. So there we go. We've been seeing a lot of chatter about this on social media as well. Again, this is one of those models that's going to sell out really fast because it's doing super well and it is definitely one of those must-have models. So there you go, Toyota Supra Mark IV, white, topless, looking gorgeous. They have a red hardtop one as well. We'll be featuring it in the magazine soon or in one of our blogs, so don't forget www.castedmagazine.com is the place to go for all Casted Magazine diecast material. Finally, on our last set of stuff that we have, um, Formula One has kicked off. Sebastian Vettel and Charles Leclerc is fighting it out. It's Red Bull versus Ferrari. Now, we haven't got the new 2002 issue, uh, 2022 issue models. Uh, but we do have these really cool ones from Burago, which is the RB13 from Red Bull, which was driven by Max Verstappen when he was just starting his career in Formula 1. And the most latest and the last of the Turbo Hybrid era series cars, uh, the SF21 Ferrari, which we have featured in our Ferrari issue in the magazine. But since we are doing Ferrari cars today, and since Ferrari is on the top list of everybody's minds, we thought, bang! Let's pull out the Ferrari cars that we have in our collection for us to show you. And there you can see it is not amalgam like, but if you squint your eyes, it does look a little like amalgam, so you know it's not too bad. Great Pois is the price point, not going to be as expensive as amalgam, and you can definitely pull up a really decent Formula One collection for yourself really, just, just from Burago. Don't forget they also do Mercedes. I don't know why, but you know somebody's got to do Mercedes. But we do love their Ferraris and their Red Bulls. If we can get the Red Bull out of the box. Sebastian is going to be... Max Verstappen, sorry, is known to be a little stubborn. There you go. A shot of the RB13. Lift that up there. Just in case you're feeling thirsty. Sorry. So if you're a Formula 1 fan like me, this is uh, a very, very special moment having these cars on the review desk right here. But wait, there is more. Let us not leave our friend Solido out. Like I said, 90 years of building great models and, and fantastic hobby toys. We cannot leave them out of the 118 Formula 1 game because they do the Alpine. Wow. I mean, we're not talking about winners, uh, season winners, uh, or even podium standing cars, but that looks absolutely beautiful. Again, this is one of the cars from the Turbo Hybrid era, the last car. So these two actually are from the same era of cars. This one, the Red Bull, is a little older. But yeah. We are looking at three beautiful 118 scale Formula 1 models that you can actually own without having to um, rob little old ladies at the ATM machine in the night. 
So there you have it, people. That is our review desk for this week. We hope you enjoyed the cars that we have uh, put up on review. Again, just to re reiterate the fact that we will be uh, reviewing these in the magazine and our blog as well, so that you can get close look at pictures and stuff like that. But if you're looking for something to get right now, these are the sort of cars that you need to get right uh, get for yourself. Wonderful lineup of. Uh, 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 118 F1 cars and they all look the same scale so they actually line up and match up pretty well for your collection really enjoying so that's it for us uh, from the review desk hope you guys have a fantastic week join us next week same time same place right here on Cars Magazine